All right, Dave, so when you actually want to learn jungle, this is a good game to look at. I know you've been playing a lot of top lane, and uh, that's fine. Jungle's pretty similar. Similar champ pools for both top and jungle. It's usually like uh, bruisers, um, like jacks, people who get tanky but also deal a lot of damage. So in this game, I'm playing Jarvan. Um, he's one of my... He's a personal favorite of mine. He's fairly simple, and he's just great uh, to play. So basically, I'm going to turn... Uh, let's see. Let's adjust Fog of War settings and pull the scoreboard up. How do I fucking hide their Fog of War? Sorry, I don't really use replay mode that much to do shit like this. Time controls, score display. Alright, well, let's go back to me. But just know. So, alright. So let's talk about the first minute or so of the game since we've left. So I ran here and I placed a ward. Okay, I then ran to this bush and backed. And I bought, um, if you look here, it's on cooldown, but Oracle Lens. So I can sweep other wards and deny vision. And it helps for when I'm going to gank because I can deny vision by uh, clearing wards before I gank or just clearing wards to help my laners so they don't get ganked, things like that. Um, jungle is about applying pressure on the map. Um, this is an insane game, by the way. Um, this one, it's a 4v5, not in our favor. So we're, it's us four against five. Our mid laner, this guy right here, uh, ends up leaving. But for the first minute of the game, I just go. I drop this ward just because this is Ivern. I know him. I know Ivern can invade and steal my red buff very easily, just because of the way the champion's kit is set up, and a lot of Iverns like to do that. So I make sure that I am uh, dropping that ward there to protect for him invading to steal my red. Now, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna see a bunch of pings on the mini map for me, even. Okay. Boom! I see Ivern right there. I see him. He's walking over my ward. He's going in the jungle and watch my pings here. Yep, I ping that I'm coming because I want to. I want to go secure my red and I start to move. My bot lane, thinking I don't need a leash, then decides to fucking leave me. So I have to do it leashless. And Ivern's over here stealing my red. Since I know he's on red, let me pause real quick. I take blue, and I know he's on my top side of the jungle, okay, because of because I know he's in there. I don't have this much vision over him, obviously. If I could figure out how to turn off Fog of War, I would. Um, but I know he's probably going to take all of my jungle up here, so I decided to do what's called vertical jungling, which is a little risky without a coordinated team. But I'm you're going to see. I'm going to speed this up a little. Okay. I'm going to take blue. And I'm gonna immediately go into his red side jungle. Cause since he's taking my red side jungle, I'm gonna take his red side jungle, okay? I'm still pinging, be careful. I know he's taking the buff right now, okay? I just decide I don't wanna fight him early. I don't have priority in either lane. As you can see, my mid lane's pushed in. My bot lane's losing. They're low on health, lower on health. So I'm keeping track of all these things as I'm jungling. I then, don't know if his team has dropped a ward for vision so i sweep this whole area to make sure i don't walk on any vision so i can secure his the steel of his red and ultimately um the steel of his krugs as well the entire bot red side uh red half of his jungle gets taken all right i'm low i don't have smite though it's fine junglers can get pretty tanky and stay healthy so as you see, my entire top half of the jungle is gone. His entire bottom half of the jungle is gone. I'm actually up a camp on him because of this. Okay. I'm up farm, if you look here. Now, I'm doing Krugs, and I see that this bot lane is pretty push, and my laners are low, but Lux and Seraphine, which is not a traditional bot lane at all, both have a lot of CC, and it's easy to set up for them. Okay. And look, the wave's about to be pushed to their tower. They don't even have a ward, or they have this ward down, but they don't think I'm going to gank at 330 from their red side of the jungle. I ping that I'm going. My laners move up. Okay. 
And I just decided to take the Zyra. Okay, so there's there's uh, one kill. It's um, not first blood because uh, Nico in the mid lane got it. Now I start ping that I'm going for this scuttle crab. Nico comes down to help me out. Perfect play by her. She has no laner. She's laning against the jungler. So I'm, I know this can't be contested. So I just take it. And now I still have, I'm still up. I'm down farm now because he cleared mid wave. But I have a kill under my belt and I'm going to clear these two camps. So I will be up farm on him. And he has no camps of his own to clear at all. So just by not fighting him early and not engaging, I'm up. I'm going to be up a full camp on him, basically. Maybe even two. I don't know how much farm he got in mid lane. Okay. And I'm going to be uh, up an entire... Well, I got an assist. Or, yeah, I got an assist. I didn't get the kill. Seraphine got the... Or Lux got the kill, but that's fine. Um, so I'm up an assist, and I'm up two camps on him. And this scuttle as well, and he has nothing he can do. He's spotted on a ward. It's literally, he can go do that. That's it. But I have two camps up ready to go because he takes longer to clear. When I vertical jungled, he took longer to clear my top half than I did his bottom. So, first recall after I cleared that side of the jungle. Um, Iron Spike Whip. This is an active, so I press the button. In this case, I like to keep these on my two key because I can just reach up with my uh, ring finger. Um... But you'll see what I do with it. I uh, it, it helps clear camps. When you press it, it deals 80 physical... See that? That was the animation for it. Let me go back a sec. Oh, whoops. Let me go back just a second. So, yeah. I'm coming to this camp. Oh, I went back way too fucking far. Holy shit. I think it was about here. No, I'm already done. You'll you'll see. Whatever. After I did uh, Raptors, I went to Wolves here, and now I'm doing my Grop. So I'm clearing down because I'm. I see Ivern here, as I just pinged. Um, I see him there. I ping it for my team actually, but I take my Grop. I know he's not invading. I know he's not stealing anything. I can get a safe back. I know exactly where he is. He's doing this camp, so I know literally right where he was just from this little bit of vision here. Get a free recall in. All right. I'm going to clear this top half again. And probably, I think I looked at gank top, actually. So, in my team, another important thing I'm, you're going to see me do is I'm going to gank top a lot. I'm, I am deal damage. Yone deals damage. Everyone else is an AP threat. These, This one doesn't really deal that much damage. Same with this one. This one does a lot if she's fed. And she gets decently fed this game. Not as fed as me, but still. Um, so, yeah. Again, it's about keeping up tempo. But I know that I need him to be strong. Okay? And this is not a fun matchup for him. Set into Yone here. Not fun for him. So, I know I need to get him rolling a little bit. Or, or get myself rolling, which is what ends up happening. But my thought process is I can clear my top half of the jungle right now. I have these two camps up. Ivern. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I knew he was bot side. I knew this was his only camp up, okay, because uh, I had vision. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was his only camp up, but I know he cleared his top half. If it, or I know his bot half's up if my top half is up, if that makes sense, because we both cleared him first at the same time. So I know he's going to be bot side, so I know there's no real possibility of a top gank so i'm just gonna come out and farm this shit and gank top i believe yeah i'm just clearing just normal clearing very very boring stuff being a jungler most of the time Yeah, see, Yone, Yone does not do well into it. So he's pinging for assistance this whole time. So I'm going to go help him. I'm going to gank him. He's baiting right now for me. He's baiting out the set engage. Walking a little too close to the minion wave. Gets caught. So I go in. I slow him with my shield. Set has to burn flash there. Okay. And then even though he's up a level on me, in the 1v1, I just, I'm pretty sure I just win it. That's what I do. I'm also trying something different this game with Jarvan. I'm trying W Max second. 
Okay. So I go in. Yone baits it. Ends up dying. Maybe baited it a little too hard. Um, but he already had a blow TP. So he's not going to be able to get back to lane. Set is going to blow his TP for this wave, I believe. That's what Yone's pinging there for me. He's also pinging that he has already. He's teleporting in. And he's pinging for assistance. He wants me to gank him again. So we're going to repeat gank him. Because if it didn't, if it worked the first time, why not do it again, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, see, the Yone is just baiting. So Yone still has ult. He still has everything. So we just go in. The time the knockups, double knock up correctly. Dodge that as best we can. Yone is going to die. I flash for the slow from my shield. And then just in the 1v1, I use the Iron Spike Whip active to get the kill there. Ivern steals my blue. That's fine. Because, again, I've been... He knew I was topside from the first kill. He knows I'm still topside, obviously. He sees me. They have vision of all the other laners. But our bot lane decides to respond to it a bit. And they almost kill the Ivern. He's going to take this scuttle. And they're going to probably do dragon if I if they were... Yeah, if they were smart. Yeah, they're all pinging dragon. So they're just going to do drag. There's not much I can do about it. I had to hold the top wave after Yone died because he does not have teleport. So he goes mid to hold and potentially fight for dragon. But it's already gone, as you can see. They get that pick in bot lane. They see these two. They see her. They knew she was dead. And they knew I just recalled top. So we just give the dragon. As a jungler, you have to keep track of your laners. Sorry, their la your laners like spells. So like, I know Set doesn't have flash right now, but I don't really know who does or doesn't have flash on the rest of them because I've been paying attention mainly to top. So it's kind of important. Yone's taking some camps. That's fine. I have I took two kills top lane, so I'll give him a little bit of farm. That's not a big deal. All right, especially because the Set got kills in both of those. Right there. Let me turn that on permanently. Um, so yeah, we're we're doing Rift Herald, okay, which means Nico should probably not be fighting mid. But I th oh, she misses the kill. Uh, we we're doing Rift Herald, and I'm six now, and I have ult, and I know the set doesn't have flash. I decide we don't. I decide let's not kill him. Let's do the Rift, okay. They know we're on it. That's fine. Set's gonna come back for a fight. All good. Now, my smite does 900 damage, so I'm paying very close. I'm not watching set. I'm watching the health bar. My smite's up in, like, one second. Yone flashes for the ult. I smite that for health when I need it in the fight. And I believe Yone cleans him up. If not, I do. Yeah, here I ult. Because I, I know, again, he doesn't have flash. So, I get the kill on him. So, let's, let's go back over that real quick on what happened there. And how that fight went and my thought process during it and stuff. So, let's just watch me. Um, so here, I know that this set wants this kill. Alright, I know I know he's going to want to kill. So what I, I, I'm doing is I'm just waiting for him. Yone's catching his wave top because it's a huge wave. It's a lot of gold. That's fine. Alright. He should have stayed and helped me, honestly. Set comes over, so my smite is up in, what, 8 seconds, and I know smite does 900 health, it also heals me. So I know that if I do some damage to him, if I if we trade, you know, a little bit, I can secure the Rift Herald with smite and also heal up and potentially win the fight, hopefully win the fight. So I'm watching it very closely, I'm getting it down to around that 900 range, smite's up in 5 seconds now. Okay. It's under that range. So I start to run away. I'm kiting away for my Yone or my Nico to come, all right, and fight him with me because I know that's secured. I just have to walk up and smite it, all right? I'm more worried about him dealing a lot of damage to me and killing me before I can do that you know, in a good way to, that gets us the kill. Yone flashes this wall, and he's going to immediately R the set. So there's some CC, okay? Set uses his uh, true damage shield. I think I, I sidestep so the true damage doesn't hit me just the regular physical damage part if the true damage had hit me i would i would be dead instantly so he's also then going to arm me immediately when the r doesn't kill me i smite immediately so that i get my health back now look at my health i was just about dead now he's the one who has less health than i do he's got 300 left i've got 400 left 
So, Yone, I, I'm just leaving the kill to Yone, essentially, at this point, because Set's, Set's pretty much guaranteed dead. He doesn't have ult, he doesn't have W, he doesn't have flash. Like, the Yone should kill him easily. Yone uses his E. Is dealing some damage and cutting around. Okay, I EQ in, because I have a lot of mobility on Jarvan. And then I R him. So he, again, doesn't have flash. There's no way out of this little wall. He E's me. All right. I shield. I press my active on my iron spike whip, and I kill him. Easy as that. Now, at this point... Oh, I... I I forget what happened here. I was, uh, he pinged me. I was going to drop the Rift Herald in his lane, and he back pinged me. Because he doesn't want to have the long lane. He can't, he's basically telling me there, as a jungler, that's actually really important, oh, what just happened. So, let's go back even a little further. This is where we kill Sen all. It's really important to listen to your jungler, or listen to your um, laners as a jungler. It's their lane. Okay, you don't want to fuck it up. You don't ever want to int someone's lane. Like you know, get it, get yourself killed by someone's lane. Okay, so I I was pinging that I have Rift Herald ready, and uh, I pinged on the way, and he back pinged me twice, three times actually, and that just means no, don't do it. So I give him a thumbs up. He gives me an emote, and that's that. But it's really your your job is to pressure your lanes to make either their laning easier or get them snowballing. Or um, counter pressure that they might be receiving from the jungler. That's your job. Your job is to be everywhere at once, essentially, if if you didn't know. All right, nothing really happening here. Uh, I'm just clearing camps. I want to back and spend this gold, and I also don't want to be out with low mana. Um... Jarvan does go oom, um, and I do go oom um a few times in this game because I get so tanky. I'm essentially 1v9ing the entire game, so there's I'm in fights for like 10 seconds at a time. I think I want to gank... Yeah, I want to gank mid here because I know that Zed doesn't have flash because I know he used it when they fought while we were doing Rift Herald. He has W, he has a lot of escape, so he gets away. And I want to drop Rift mid, because I want to get these plates, because that's gold. We're going to get 160 gold off, because Rift destroys two plates and change. So, I think I smite Daisy here, because I don't, I just say fuck that thing. He smites Rift, we get two plates, get 160 gold. Now, I'm just harassing a little. I have shields, I have mobility, I have, you know, I'm fine. She wants to full-on dive, which is just a really bad idea. I'm back pinging her. I decide, fuck this, I'm out, because that was basically just griefing. And I actually wasn't paying attention. The Zed R's me, and I just die to him. So he gets shut down gold. Um, I was pretty fucking big at that point. And uh, essentially, my whole thing is right now... I'm not going to be able to... Like, Ivern's just going to keep stealing my buffs and being annoying in the jungle. So, I don't even want to fuck with him. I just want to get kills and get my laners ahead. As Yone, now that I've ganked a couple times for him. He needs items, really, to be useful. He lives that, which is shocking. I was watching that fight uh, in real time when it happened. Um, now that he's, he's got tabbies, he can lane against them. Once he... He buys and he's able to farm. Once he gets a little damage and, and one item, he can he can lane pretty easily against the set. Um, I go mid to hold because they were pressuring mid that entire time that they were fighting top. So I know that Zed doesn't have R and I know he doesn't have flash. So yeah, let me go back. Let's let's look at that again. So I know Zed doesn't have flash, doesn't have R. Okay, and he's walking over a ward right here. So, I just walk up. He kills the ward. I just R him. He fucks his W up there, which is why he died. I just R him, just auto him to death. Easy peasy, no problem. Now that we've killed mid lane, uh, Dragon's up in... I don't even know how long. Oh, that doesn't work on this. Um, yeah, Dragon's up very soon, so I want to set up for that. I'm sweeping for vision, but there's a fight happening bot. Our Lux is baiting. MF has 1 HP. I flash W for the slow smite her. And then Zyra is just going to die. No problem. The Lux hits her, her abilities. The Lux played really well. Um, 
the Lux played the game really well, and the Yone played pretty well as well. Seraphine did her part in the end, too. So it, it was a 4v5. Like I said, Nico here in mid, she's going to disconnect any minute. And I'm pinging that Dragon's up, and I don't have Smite. So I'm basically pinging that I, if you want to come and we can do this, I don't care. Uh, that's like kind of how I, I mean it to come across. Okay, I'm pinging like I don't have Smite and you guys want to do this. I decide to pull it. All right, my, I'm thinking now we just kill them if they come. Okay, Smite's up in 30 seconds. So we can either stall this out for 30 seconds or, or whatever. What I'm really looking for is this kind of stuff down there. Or, you know, these fights. These fights are what I'm looking for. I wind up dying, but I take the Zyra with me. Ivern's going to get the dragon, so they're going to have two dragons. Okay. We all got kills. Yada yada. Nico. Or sorry, uh, Lux picks up the last one. So it ends up being a 3 for 3 and we lose Cloud Drake, which is not a big a big deal. Um, as far as Drake's go, Cloud Drake's is, is arguably the worst one. A lot of people will say it's the worst one. But it is important to prioritize objectives. Now, we've gotten one Rift Herald I dropped mid. Right, I'm pinging Rift Herald right now. Yeah, this is... I'm remembering this as I'm as I'm uh, commentating on it. I'm I'm pinging Rift Herald because I want Rift Herald. I want to get one of these towers down. I want to start this game going, uh, snowballing because I'm I'm huge. I'm beyond fed right now, so like I can just kill all of them if I can get this Yone out of lane with a decent score. I'm thinking in my head the Nico. She's gonna disconnect any minute now, but. I'm thinking if I can get the Nico to two items, she's going to be relevant in team fights. My bot lane, I mean, it's Lux Seraphine. We don't have a traditional ADC, but that's always going to be useful. Okay. Now, he just used Sweeper. I decide to sweep for wards. Um, probably not the smartest call, but I'm also trying to look for him. If he just used a Sweeper to see that area of the map, I should assume they don't have vision there. Now, I know he just all in on Nico, so he doesn't have R. Okay. I know he still doesn't have Flash. He doesn't have Ignite. The Nico goes back in for a really stupid kill, and I end up securing it. I get a shutdown for it. Okay, now Yone roamed down, so he's saying, "Hey, man, I roamed down to help you, you know, help out mid. Come kill this set. He's at my tower. He has no vision." I'm like, "Okay, cool." So he engages on him. All right, the turret dies. That's fine. I go in. I miss my knock up there, but it's fine. The Yone, like I said, I got him through the harder part of lane. So he's going to be irrelevant. And there we go. The Nico just leaves the game. Uh, didn't type a thing in chat all game. All right, not a single thing. Um, and just disconnected. So I know Zed was dead. We just killed top. Let's get Rift because we can fight the Ivern and the Zed very easily. If they come to contest us, we just kill them. Okay, I'm sweeping for vision because it just came up. Just making sure that an Ivern can't see this to steal it. I get Rift and I'm pinging top. I'm gonna, I want to drop this one top for sure. Like I said, top tower is gone, so Yone has a long lane already. We can take this no problem. I immediately drop it. This turret has not been touched. Like I said, this Yone does not play well in this set. So we're here. He gets a little caught. It's fine. I think I go in for some harass on him, too. Oh, no, I harass out. So I EQ out to deal damage and not take a tower shot, basically. But he flashes into me, so he wants to fight. All right. So I just let the Yone kite it out. My W has a 20% slow. So it slowed him enough that I get away. Now I'm looking how this fight's going. I'm waiting for my Gore Drinker. There's the Gore Drinker proc. Once I get the Gore Drinker proc and my shield because I'm W maxing second is such a low cooldown. Um, I just played it very slow, waited for my cooldowns, waited for Gore Drinker so I could heal up off of hitting him with it. And uh, my shield could come up because it's actually a pretty huge shield, all things considered. It's uh, 135 shield every 7.5 seconds. It's And it fucking slows too. Oh, and here I'm literally, I forget I was typing or shopping or something or looking at my other screen. I literally forget what happened there, but I wasn't paying attention. I know that. Now the set's complaining. I don't have all chat, so this is my first time seeing it in game. 
the sets uh, apparently complaining about his jungler, uh, which he should be. Uh, he definitely should be. This Ivern. I mean, I'm playing this smart though. Like the way this matchup goes is Ivern. Oh, Yone gets just completely outplayed here. Um, yeah, so nothing's happening right now. But the way it essentially goes is Ivern's going to want to be just annoying. Just annoying as shit in uh, in my jungle. Stealing buffs, stealing camps, blah, blah, blah. My whole thought process is I'm going to get my gold from kills. Okay, I'm going to get objectives for our team. And I'm going to set my lanes up. I don't care. I'm, I'm playing very selflessly right now, essentially. I'm, I'm getting my lanes set up for success. We spot the Zyra there. The Lux, I think, hits a bind on someone here. She she does something that makes me go all in. Right when we hit some CC. So I have vision of this. I have smite. I take the blue. Now, they're still pressing in. I'm out. Lux hits the, the bind and the ult there. So I'm, I'm fucking in. I'm ready to go. I'm going to EQ probably flash R, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Right on the MF. Okay, Seraphine misses her ult. I'm I'm just dead. I knew once I go in for that, which is probably a bad call because they have Mountain Drake up. I didn't know Zed would be there, honestly. Yeah, I think someone else is going to die here. Or both. Oh, Seraphine almost killed the Zed. Wow. I, anyway, yeah, it's a 4v5. But, uh, yeah, that, that was a bad fucking play by me. Uh, I should have played that a lot safer, especially in a 4v5. And... I'm literally, I play the rest of the game pretty safe until I get, like, giga stupid fed uh, and can essentially one-shot everyone. So if you look at the top, if you look at the top here, gold difference, um, it's only going to go up for them, obviously, because we have a lane of farm not being taken. They have five people farming. We don't. Um, they got both mid towers set did while they were doing this. Um, so it's talking a lot of shit, a lot of shit in all chat. It's pretty funny. I had no idea who's talking shit, but my whole, at this point I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like, I literally told my team, I don't feel like carrying this. Can we just FF? And they were like, we can win this. Yeah. You see the surrender vote there failed. Um, I'm just like, I, if we're going to win this, I need to play safer. So I'm, I'm, I, st I go back to farming a bit, um, because at this point, the Ivern can't really invade me. I just kill him immediately. I catch the Zyra here alone, and I just basically one-shot her. I flash out the Zed ult. I turned on him to get Gore Drinker and my uh, shield back. And then I just EQ, and I W while I'm queuing to slow them. Okay, Zed's still chasing. I have a Blast Plant here. EQ's on a very low cooldown. Um... E is 8.89 seconds, Q is 4 seconds, so every 9 seconds I have that, essentially, that dash that also will knock people up. I'm low, so I go to heal. They they start pressuring top. Yone goes in, misses literally everything. That's why he's 1, 3, and 4. He, he plays the fights pretty well in the end when he gets a lot more fed. But they're just pressuring top, so I back and I immediately start running top because I'm like, ooh, free fucking kills. Um, Zed is dominating, so he's got a 600 gold bounty, but I have Gore Drinker and Sterix now. I feel pretty confident going in here. I'm pretty tanky. I'm strong. Okay, that's fine. I go back in on the MF because Seraphine hits a beautiful ult. I'm in the fight now, fighting both Set and Ivern, and I die. But I got that shutdown on Zed. They're going to get this tower. This game looks pretty doomed for us for a long time. They're going to get this tower. Just taking a quick look at objectives. They're on Mountain Soul Point, which is big because it gives them a shield in these fights. And it makes the set a lot more unkillable. It makes it all a lot harder. They're also up about 3k gold. So they were up about 4k. They're up about 3k now. And that's just from that shutdown, basically, being so valuable. Shutdowns are huge. If you have a shutdown, you have to play extremely safe. And I also know that they're not taking towers particularly quick. They're not pressuring. They should have been pressuring this after they killed us all top. They should have left one here and sent everyone else here to pressure this. But the later the game goes, if I can stall this out late enough, this gold difference doesn't matter because it don't matter when everyone's six items. Okay, everyone deals. Everyone's at their full build. They're as strong as they're ever going to be. You can fucking, you know, it's just who plays better at that point. 
Yone uh, baits this set in pretty hard. And Seraphine gets a kill. It's about just being reactive to plays. As they're making plays, you're making counter plays. Or you're making the plays and forcing their errors if you're ahead. Just like here. I catch them rotating. I essentially one shot the set. Oh, I play this fight really, uh, really well. I do a really short range EQ here to get that last kill. Yep, just, uh, pretty basic stuff. I know they were, I forget if we had a ward, I forget how I saw them. But I knew they were going to come top because that Yone was low health. And I know that the MF can ult and the Zed can dive. So I just end up waiting here in a bush. I see them walk in and I just kill them. I mean, it's that simple. These players are not good. All right, so now I know Zed has a lot of burst. Okay. The set does too. All right. I decide to get a Death Dance because it gives me armor, AD, ability haste, which is really nice on Jarvan. The more ability haste you have, the better, as long as you're not going oom. Um. But it also makes 35% uh, of physical damage dealt to me is taken over time. So it turns 15% of my dam physical damage that I take into a damage over time. Okay. Um, and uh, when I get a kill or an assist... Which you get a lot of assists, by the way, uh, as Jarvan because of your E aura. Uh, it it heals me, okay, and gives me a bunch of health regen. And as you see, I mean, I'm fucking tanky. Like, I'm in this fight. That's what, two kills? And look, I'm still half health. So we just ace them uh, 4v5 for 5 for 0, which is insane. On their Mountain Soul point. If they got this Mountain Soul, it's a lot harder of a game from there. I managed to secure it with Smite. All right. I'm looking around the map immediately. I, even as I'm doing Dragon, I'm like, what else can we get? We just ace them. We killed five. We got a Dragon finally. What can we take from this? I say mid tower, so we go mid tower. Ivern is pinging Baron. They see me mid, so obviously they know I'm not doing it. Like I said, 4v5, play safe. Slow is safe. The slower I play this game, the later it gets, the better. All right? Just off that ace and everything, we're back up. We're up 1,000 gold now. We're up 1,000 gold. We're down three towers, three dragons, and we're up 1,000 gold. That's huge. My job, I mean, like I said... I'm being super proactive on the map. I don't care if my laners essentially are taking most of my camps. Like, Yone's taking Krugs. That's fine. I don't care. All right. They're pinging Dragon. Or, sorry, Baron. Um, I don't know this. I don't have any vision of it. I think I'm telling someone, my Lux or my Seraphine, I'm like, you guys need to get vision on this. Yone eventually. Um, yeah, Yone, Yone ends up going in. I don't he we still don't have vision, but he's he's in there like swimwear. And I think he dies. Yeah, he dies. So now it's a three V five and they're on Baron, by the way. And we don't have vision. So I walk over, I throw my E, my E gives vision, I can also Q onto it. We go in and I steal Baron. And then I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying I'm trying to get out. I flash R in. And uh I mean yeah, I I literally don't know what to say. I just flashed on four of them and ulted all of them. And then Gore Drinkered immediately. So that's like, what? What's my ult do? Let's check. My ult deals 587 damage and Gore Drinker deals 283. So that's like, what, 800 damage or so? AoE on all of them at the same time? Yeah, that, that'll that'll win you a team fight. So we get that tower. Yone TP's in. Uh, I think we're calling to end the game right now. I think that's what we're essentially saying. We're up. We know we're up a lot now, though. Um, I just want to play this slow. I want to get the inhib, and I want to leave. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So I'm pinging those camps. I'm saying take everything from them. Take their entire jungle as we leave all the resources because i know we need all this gold to win this game i am at this point 19 and 5 um i don't really know what to say about that i probably shouldn't be 19 and 5 oh that's right i threw over to check blue zed just goes on me here yeah 
Yeah, 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 I remember this. And I, uh, let's just say I'm a little strong. I took all that true damage. I end up dying, but I killed the Zed. That's fine. One for one. That's one less Baron. But we have super creeps in mid because we took inhib. Yone's wants to go in. I get Bramble Vest and Bla Black Cleaver and Bramble Vest, so I'm getting s even tankier because I feel like I deal enough damage as of right now. I don't think I need to get that much more damage. I think I just need to be tankier. So Black Cleaver gives me health and uh, AD, gives me ability haste, gives me all that. So he the health is nice, the AD is nice. Bramble Vest is flat armor and healing reduction, all good things. I remember seeing this and wondering how the fuck this Lux got out. There was a lot of people on her, but she fucking did it. Now, Dragon, I believe, is up pretty soon. I wish I could... Oh, objective timers. Here we go. Turn them on. Oh, there we go. We got, oh, that's... Ooh, very fancy. So, uh... Sorry, Dragon's up in a minute. And I know their their wave is kind of fucked. I think Ivern's going to end up showing here, and that's when I know that we can just do this Dragon for free. Yeah, so sets top. I think I want to say Ivern shows, honestly, but I'm not sure. Yone's pushing bot. That's fine. I know sets top. I'm assuming he has TP because he wouldn't be there if he didn't. It would be really stupid. This is an awful time to recall for them. I think that's why I end up getting dragon. I'm just using my E for vision. We're sweeping now. We have a ward here, so we have some deep vision. Okay. I'm checking with my E still for vision. They're sweeping, and I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They see me here. I go in. I'm, my goal is to... Yep. Yone was bot. I knew they were there. Yeah. No. Just get the easy fucking kills. It's that simple. Yone's still in. I'm coming in now. Now I'm looking at this MF that's locks rooted. So I bypass the entire team. I EQ out. And I'm going to remember I, uh, I EQ out almost. I should have gotten out honestly. Um, EQ out again. We all die. So we're going to end up probably. Yeah we're going to end up losing soul. Basically is what's going to happen. Ivern. I don't think Ivern can solo it though. But they're afraid of me. They're very afraid of me. They they take it so slow though. Oh, set no set didn't TP. He just didn't back. Okay, so yeah, they're taking it now. We have no vision on the Baron, unfortunately, but we saw set there, so we know that he's running to it. So it's gone. Lux thinks she can steal it with R, so she's pinging that in team chat. Yeah, see, but it's gone. Yeah, I think I typed in team chat. It's gone. I think I'm going to get up and do my red now. And then uh, I know Baron's up. See, Baron's up in a minute 20 right here. So I have I have full, full build now. Um, I got Black Cleaver. I finished the Thorn Mail with all the gold that I had from the kills I got and stuff. Do I have a pot yet? I don't have a pot going yet. So when you get full build, there's potions, okay? You can get that uh, do different things. There's one for like being tankier. There's one for being dealing more damage and healing. There's one for uh, mages to do more magic damage and stuff. I think I go for the one that makes you tankier and have more tenacity. That way I don't get locked up by CC. Notice I'm not smiting now. Um, usually, I mean, once, once important objectives are coming up, I'm not using smite because... Um, I want to have it in case I need to steal that objective because my team makes a stupid play or, or just, just to have for the objective, you know, if we want to do it too. So they're in Hibs up soon. So we know we're not going to have that mid lane pressure. So I'm pinging on the way to mid lane right now because this Zed is just dead. And I'm pretty fucking strong. So I want to keep fighting this. I'm looking for the MF. I will flash on her. Yep, yep, 100%. The Ivern decides to come. I have EQ again. Doesn't matter. My shield slows. I'm going to have EQ yet again. I'm just going. I know I'm tanky as shit and strong as fuck. I smited her for the slow so I could catch her. 
I kill her, and then I'm out of mana here. And I'm I'm gonna start pinging that. And I need help because the one thing my build does not have is magic resistance. So this Ivern hurts a lot. Lux and Seraphine show up. I get the healing. I keep my shutdown. I or I don't have a shutdown actually, but I stay alive. Okay. All good. Yone's here. We can pressure mid. I'm pinging that I need blue buff. His blue buff's not up though. It's Ivern. There's not going to be buffs up. I need to recall. But then I think I see I'm getting mana regen in the jungle. Yeah, I, I get so much mana regen. Yeah, so I just decide to stay. I just get so much mana regen. It's nuts. Okay. I back here. I'm going to pot up. Yep, I buy this as Elixir of Iron, so increased health, tenacity, and I'm bigger physically, if you look at me. And it rallies allies towards them, whatever that means. I think uh, my allies gain increased move speed towards me, so when I go into the back line, they're going to be able to run faster, like as I'm chasing someone down. It's a great buy on Jarvan. All right, so we get a pick, actually two picks, on the jungler and the fucking mid laner. All right. I see the top laner. I see MF ulting me. I stop her ult with my EQ. I'm in it. This Zyra hurts a lot because, again, I don't have magic resist. The only two people who will really deal damage to me are the Zyra, who's 2 and 11, and the Ivern, who's 1 and 4. They're not really threats, though, so I'm not trying to... I'm not going to build magic resist just for them. I think I debated or did go Merc Treads late game. I, I know I was debating it just to have that little extra magic resist and also... Uh, the tenacity is nice. Seraphine's like dying. I think we end up calling this off. Yone's trying to solo it. I don't think he can. So, yeah. Yone's back pinging. I think I back ping maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, we just call it off. I'm typing in chat. I'm like, no, no, no. Leave it. Leave it. Because, again, we're, we're trying to play safe here. You know what I mean? It's all about playing safe. Ivern used redemption on it to get vision. Sees we're not doing it. That's fine. Seraphine should back. I'm up in two seconds. There we go. So now they're moving in to clear our vision of Baron out. Whenever you set up for an objective, it's important to have vision around it. Um, so they're trying to clear out our vision. They didn't really do a good job. This Zed should definitely have Sweeper. Um, he does not, though. He has a Stealth Ward. Um, so yeah, uh, now this is an awkward time because Elder Dragon is up in a minute and 21. And Baron's up. So I'm pinging to my team, and I think I'm typing. I'm like, pick one, guys. What what, what do you want to prioritize? Um, they say they don't care. I said, let's prioritize whichever one they go to. That way, when we fight, um, that when we, we're there, we can just fight and win the fight. Because our team fight's kind of broken with me and everything. Like, I can just... I can literally tank their entire fucking team for a long time. And I do at certain points. So he's, he's going to die, I think. To ignite? No, he didn't die. He got away. Oh, but I think we're chasing down. Let's go look. No, I just say fuck it. The Zed has to recall. The Zed has to recall. Ivern's dead, which is their jungler. I have smite. I'm like, let's do it. Now's the fucking time. And I'm also thinking we can just turn if they come. I'm trying to get vision because I thought maybe that Zed would have been back. So I'm, I'm using my E over the wall to try and get vision for the team. Yone immediately goes on the Zyra. The MF's ulting. The Baron's at plenty of health. I don't need to smite it. They're all dead. Set's nowhere to be seen. Zed's nowhere to be seen. We take drag. Or we take Baron. Then I see Zed. And it's me and Yone. And we just win. We're we're both pretty fucking fed to shit. I And I'm tanky as shit against these two especially. I'll tank them all day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know where he flashed at first. But I end up getting the kill, so I'm at 26. So now we have Baron. Lux is doing the right thing, pushing mid. Alright, she doesn't have Baron, but she's pushing in the mid lane. The only one alive is Ivern. Zyra's up now. MF's about to be up. I don't care about either of them. We're going right for Elder. And my thought process is we turn on them if they come. Now, as I was doing this, I typed a few things to my team that I noticed throughout the game. So I told them Zyra likes to 
go clear vision alone she doesn't have backup when she like walks into our jungle to put wards down or walks around an objective to get rid of the vision there so i know that if we ever find her doing that she's most likely alone because i think i had killed her like twice doing that yone goes over the wall to harass that's fine he's chasing him off i don't have smite so this is sketchy we get it Ivern's gonna die, MF's gonna get ulted by me, and Gore Drinker didn't die. So now I'm pinging mid inhib. They're gonna go catch the wave. They do this. They're, they're smart. They're good players. These are good players. They go and catch the wave to push in our wave sooner. Okay, so we have Baron and Elder. So we push really hard, and they also can't really fight us because we execute below a certain amount of health. So I'm like, they can't fight us. Let's go. I think Red Smites, yep, kills her or sorry um red buff kills her so i killed zyra so we have the wave now because they caught it we have baron buffing the minions we have supers coming up the next wave it's time to end the game there's only two people who can stop us i immediately am just gonna fight here yep the second he used r i just go in because if we kill those two it's still a 4v3 even if we kill them two these this one this one and this one are going to spawn, and it's not even going to matter. See, immediately, I'm just like, let's fight. Let's fucking go. You don't deal damage to me. I kill you all. Easy game. Yep. Good old R chat. Yep, so that's that's uh, where my mind's at when I'm jungling, essentially. Um, yeah. Yeah.